Many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. The space is there. And we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous, and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Today is a day for mourning and remembering. We know we share this pain with all of the people of our country. This is truly a national loss. At nine o'clock this morning, debris was seen falling from the skies above Texas. The Columbia's lost. There are no survivors. Mankind is led into the darkness beyond our world by the inspiration of discovery and the longing to understand. Our journey into space will go on. in this century, it's hard to dazzle us. The United States space program has been doing just that. We've grown used to the idea of space, and perhaps we forget that. We've only just begun. We're still pioneers. If you want to build a ship, don't drum up people to collect wood, and don't assign them tasks and work, but rather teach them to long for the endless immensity of the sea. We'll continue our quest in space. There will be more shuttle flights and more shuttle crews. And yes, more volunteers, more civilians, more teachers in space. Nothing ends here. Our hopes and our journeys continue.